UMass Boston Baseball looking to take a doubleheader away from Castleton University, their first Little East Conference games of the season. And game one would be all beacons. They get to pitcher Riley Orr, who is the three-time pitcher of the week for the Little East Conference in the second inning. It would be really all they needed as Johnny Zarelli Jr.'s two-run triple would help get the scoring started. 2 nothing UMass Boston, and they weren't done there. They'd score four runs in the inning as Mariano Jimenez with an RBI double into the right field gap. Scores Zarelli Jr. from third. It's now 3 nothing UMass Boston. Then it looked like Castleton would get out of the jam as Breon Parker grounds it to reach the Castro at third, but the Castro short hop throw gets away. So the run comes in to score. It's now 4 nothing UMass Boston. Really, that would be all they would need as Dylan Ryan was masterful on the mound. You'll see the end of his start right here. But Ryan went six strong innings, giving up one hit, which was in the first inning. And that would be the only hit the Beacons would give up in the entire game. One run, which was unearned due to an error, 12 strikeouts and three walks. The 12 strikeouts put him fifth all time for a pitcher for single game strikeouts. And then they would go back to the offense as Zerilli Jr. gets the run back with an RBI single in the bottom half of the sixth inning. It's now 5-1 to one, UMass Boston, and the bullpen would come in, and Ethan Herrera would shut down the Castleton lineup as Herrera gets the three-inning save in baseball, even though it wasn't a three-run or less game. If you pitch three innings, you can get the save at the end of the game, and Herrera does just that, closing the seventh, eighth, and ninth out. No runs, no hits, two strikeouts in a walk. He earns his first save of the year. Dylan Ryan moves to 2-0 and on the year. Riley Orr falls to 2-2 two and two as the Beacons got their first Little East Conference win, and they would go for a second one in Game 2. Bases loaded for the Beacons against Aubrey Ramey in Game 2 to start it off with nobody out. And Blake Sack Fly scores a run, makes it 1-0. That would kick off a run in which Ramey would retire 11 straight UMass Boston batters. Evan Keegan then ties the game up with an RBI single in the fourth inning, makes it 1-1. And then Nick Farnese making his first start in the lineup, the freshman with a big triple out in center field. Cannon Dush misplays it off the wall. So Farnese is going to round third. He's going to end up scoring on this play. The Beacon bench Fired up as Farnese comes in and gives them a 2-1 to lead thanks to the air. It's a straight triple before that air, nearly an inside the park home run, if not for the bobble. And then Brendan Ferrari, it looked like this was going to be a tie game, but Craig Corliss comes up with the ball and gets it to Ferrari, and they tag out the runner at home for the final out of the sixth. But then at the top of the seventh, Addison Schaub ties up the game with his solo home run over the green monster in left field. Just like that, we have a new ball game with the bullpens in, and the Beacons would respond almost right away as Breon Parker would come up in the bottom half of the inning and get the big hit for the Beacons, which we'll see here in a minute after Schaub rounds the bases. Parker singling to right field, ends up advancing to second on the play. Jimenez is going to score, and it's 3-2 to two, UMass Boston. That would be all they needed as Sam Gray would come in in the ninth inning after Tom Kearse Pitched two innings of shutout, ball out of the bullpen. Gray gets his second save of the year with the final out of the game right there as it's flown out to Joey Morrison. And the Beacons move to 2-0 in Little East Conference play. They ride a five-game win streak in the next week's game against Tufts University, which will be at 3 o'clock p.m. at home.